Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. You're starting off with the Four of Wands and the Death card. Major transformation in regards to uh, stability, in regards to your future, in regards to... Um, in regards to finding that type of uh, what you would consider stability in your life, for some of you guys, uh, there could be a situation uh, in regards to changing or moving residency for some uh, for this month of November. Um, or it could also represent being, uh, you know, being away from home. For some of you guys, a lot of travel is involved. I do see the death card here with the justice card. So there's a major transformation in regards to your karmic cycle, uh, especially for those of you guys that have difficulty or have had difficulty in regards to relationships. Um, what they're showing me here is for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, stability is something that you've seeked, something that you've, you know, tried to either manifest or try to make happen in past relationships. And it could have came at the cost or expense of your own stability, of your own emotional stability. It could have been that you uh, had a tendency of overdoing in order to make a relationship stay afloat. And what they're telling me here is I see you guys much more confident. I see you guys much more matured uh, in that sense. And I feel that you're now being more cautious about the decisions that you make when it comes to partnerships and that is crucial and very important why because when you know exactly what it is that you want you learn that from relationships where you don't want to deal with anymore right when we don't deal with or, or i should say when we deal with things we don't want to deal with it kind of makes us face right um and take the approach of understanding this is not what I want in my next relationship. I'm not going to, you know, do this. I'm not going to do that. So what they're saying here is that there is a sense of maturity level where now you're able to make decisions about love with a cool head and be focused and knowing what it is that you're not going to settle with anymore. And that's a, a great, great message. Now, you also do have here the seven of wands, which is standing your ground, knowing your worth, knowing, um, you know, I feel you guys coming into your own of even being comfortable being single, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. This could represent like you've been focusing and working on yourself. And this is ideally what what you want to evoke when we're, you know, ready to find that person or when we're ready to uh, get into a relationship is really going into a relationship knowing who you really genuinely are and you know making it a point not to lose yourself in relationships so I definitely see that progression uh, you also have here the page of pentacles so there is communication you have two pages so there may be communication coming back and forth for some of you guys dealing with people from the past for others of you this could be new love this could be something that you've been expecting or waiting for for quite a while and it's finally coming through for you guys for this month of november now you do have here the four of cups with the six of wands so what they're telling you is in regards to stability whatever stability may resonate to you whether it be in finances whether it be um uh, you know stability and harmony within your family cycle or uh within you know relationships or even finding a relationship or stabilizing your uh current relationship what they're telling you is you have to take the opportunities that come to you virgo don't sit it out so what i mean by that is don't be scared to uh, take opportunities as an example if you know throughout the month of november there is a situation where you kind of don't want to do something, but friends are encourage, encouraging you to do it. Take that step towards a new beginning and put yourself out there. Why? I see the Four of Cups as an offering, and this is an offering that's coming through from Spirit. Uh, this is the universe giving to you an opportunity that you've been looking for, you've been searching for. But it may come in a package that perhaps you're not that excited about. But with the Six of Wands, this is ideal for you. So it could represent um, a person showing interest to you or giving you a love offering here 
um, that may come to you unexpected or it could come from a person that you don't ideally would find uh, pulled towards. What they're telling you is give yourself this opportunity because you may actually win the jackpot with this person. <laughs> um, this may be a person that, again, uh, could seem or may seem a bit standoffish or like you guys don't have a lot of things in common. But giving yourself the opportunity uh, will lead you to understand that this is an offering that the universe is bringing to you. So again, um, major transitions when it comes to stability, for sure, for Virgos. And I think that this is going to play out all the way to December, maybe even January, because with the Death card and the Justice card, uh, these are very heavy energies and they are major arcana. So this is things that are happening that are outside of your control this is not mundane everyday type of energies these are energies it could be planet alignments we have pluto's return there's a lot of transformative energy in that so again very beautiful reading virgos i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye